Hey, what is going on, guys? It is the SMT. Thanks for tuning in to watch this edition of the channel. Sorry for the strange angle here, but I got my phone anchored, and we're going to be doing a deep dive into the cellular connections, the pricing, all the most important parts of the OnePlus 8. Uh, for the most part, this is pretty much going to be an almost future-proof phone if you don't like to buy phones all the time, you know, if you're the type of person that, you know, upgrades to a phone and then keeps it for a couple of years, maybe two or three years, this phone should hold up pretty well. Stock Android, really good connectivity, top end specs, it should hold up well. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go through all the network stuff that you need to know in terms of accessibility with LTE and 5G. Now that OnePlus has actually put the phone to the website and put all of the technical specs. Before I get going with this video, if you could please check out in the description box, we have links for the following items, the SMT Patreon page, the second channel, Sneed Mobile Tech live streams. Also, we have the Twitter handle at Sneed Tech and the link for Megadon.net. Never need another social media platform ever again. The social media platform of the future. No algorithms, no ads, and no tracking. Megadon.net. So, to get things started, we have first the OnePlus 8. In terms of pricing, it's going to cost $699 from OnePlus. You can also purchase it from Amazon for the same cost. The nice thing about purchasing it through OnePlus is you'll get financing on them at zero APR. So it looks like they'll allow you to, to finance it over uh, $59 per month. Um, you know, based on that calculation, it looks like it's a year of financing uh, because usually when they're put on two year installments, it's about a half of that price. Uh, so that being said, it looks like they're doing 12 months of financing. I'm sure you could do it in less if you needed to, uh, or you could just pay outright or, you know, finance it yourself, however you choose to do it. But they give you that option. Now, what I want to do is I want to take a look there at what it comes with. They will throw in the Bullets wireless headphones for free if you order it on April 15th. So they're giving you time to think about it, make that order. Uh, I think the 15th, that would be tomorrow at the time of this recording. So if you decide you want to pre-order, they're throwing this in there. And then they'll probably ship it to us here in like a week or two. Uh, so here's the OnePlus 8 specifications. Before I go to the, the 8 and explaining what else there is, I want to go over to the 8 Pro and look at the difference and how they're pricing it and what's coming with it. So if you look here, the pricing here is $899. So it's $200 more than the OnePlus 8 from Amazon or from OnePlus. But if you notice that they're doing this for $38 per month over that 0% APR financing, it looks to me like they're doing this over two years. So, you know, once you go over whatever that magical threshold is of like $749 or $799, whatever it is, they're giving you more time to pay it off. So they're giving you two years. So if you want the, uh, I guess the higher spec phone, one that is more, uh, more pro in its name, uh, it is more expensive, therefore they're going to let you pay it off a longer duration of time. Now here, they're going to give you the wireless charger and the Bullets Wireless Z. Wireless charger because, you know, the, the 8 Pro actually has wireless charging. So, uh, some just something to know there. Uh, I'm going to go over back to the 8 and cover one more aspect of this device. This device is going to be sold at carrier stores. Not the Pro, but the regular one, the 8. Verizon is going to have exclusivity to millimeter wave. I'll talk more about that later. T-Mobile is going to be selling it as well. Uh, pricing at Verizon is $799. So they're basically charging $100 to give you connectivity to millimeter wave. And they're also going to throw in an IP rating officially for that. T-Mobile, same thing. You get the same official IP rating on the 8, but you're only going to get sub 6 gigahertz connections. You're not going to get the millimeter wave because Verizon has the exclusivity there. So... Uh, just something to know, but you do get that IP rating, the IP68. Now, the if you buy from Amazon or OnePlus, you don't get the IP rating from these devices, which is interesting. Well, from the 8, you will get it from the, the Pro. So something to notice there. Let's go to specs, and let's just take a look at the cellular side and some other key features that we should know about. All right, so here's your colors that you could choose from. Um, you have Glacial Green, Interstellar Glow, and Onyx Black. The Onyx Black is basically your standard color glacial green as well and then interstellar glow um i don't know that's interesting like that's the, that seems to be the new trend of colors there it talks about the display goes to some features here's your technical specs for your connectivity oxygen os it's very stockish android qualcomm snapdragon 865 the 5g modems are coming out of the uh, x55 with the adreno 650 gpu two choices for ram 
8 gig or a 12 gig uh, if you go up in storage and you go up in ram obviously it becomes more expensive be mindful of that uh battery is 4300 milliamp hour battery uh i will say that i'm not a big fan of that i was hoping for it to be a little bit bigger seeing that this is a 5g device but you do get the warp charge uh 30 watt warp charge super fast charging really top of the class when it comes to charging speed uh they do that very well here's some of the camera specs here's you know the macro lens ultra wide da 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 Okay, great. Okay, there's stuff if you guys want to see that video. All right, let's look at the cellular connectivity. This is what we care about. 4x4 MIMO is supported. It's a category 18 device in terms of download, category 13 for upload. Uh, you'll see what it could do top end at 1.2 gigs per second on the downlink and 150 on the uplink. Uh, really just depends on the carrier, 100% true. Here's where things get interesting. GSM is supported, obviously, but then you'll see that CDMA is also supported. So this will work CDMA on carriers like Verizon, who still operate segments of their network on 3G and CDMA. Certain parts, although it's been greatly reduced and completely minimalized, uh, there are certain ways in which it does you know, operate over CDMA. In fact, uh, the old OnePlus devices like the 6T and stuff like that, if you activated that with Verizon, they allowed it, but you weren't connecting on those pieces of the network. So now they're actually including it. So this is showing that it is a Verizon capable device completely with CDMA 3G and also with the LTE and the 5G. All right, now in LTE, let's take a look here at which companies it is going to work well for. Let's take a look at Verizon. Two, four, five... 1366 that's got verizon's lte covered 5g you're gonna have band 2 you're gonna have band 5 and band 66 that covers you for verizon one more thing to add for verizon is going to be band 260 n 260 and n261 it gets you the millimeter wave access from verizon but it's not noted here because this is the uh, these are not the verizon variants being highlighted on this page this is going to be the one that you buy from Amazon or OnePlus. I think it'll be the same one that you buy from T-Mobile as well. Okay, so that got you covered there. Let's take a look at the T-Mobile, the new T-Mobile. Uh, you'll have two, you'll have four, you'll have five in some strange cases. I think it's Myrtle Beach. They do have uh, <laughs> band five. Uh, you also have band 12. Uh, you have band 17, which is, wait, that's old AT&T, I think. Uh, okay, so then what else do we have for t-mobile we got band 71 so that covers you there now with the new t-mobile you also have to throw in the lt that's coming over from the sprint side so that's band 41 supported and uh if you guys see you also have band 25 and 26 but 26 will be going to dish but you got it covered anyways all right from the 5g side n2 you have n5 you have n66 and then you also have the N41 and the N71. So that covers you from the T-Mobile and the new T-Mobile side. You've got all of that. Now, if you guys look where it says MIMO, where it says LT24, uh, I don't know about that Band 7 business. I don't know who that is, to be honest with you. The 25, the 66, the 41. Notice the 48. That's CBRS. We'll be talking more about that at a later time. But you also have the there's the N2 and the N66 and the N41. So all that's covered for the new T-Mobile with the Sprint assets and all that good stuff. So AT&T is also covered with one omission. There's no band 14. I thought it was just a glitch in the morning. I couldn't get the, the, the particular figures on it. But there is no band 14 support. So first net not included on this device. You got the two, you got the four, you got the five, you got the 12, the 17, all right? You got the 29, the 30, the 66. And then if you're looking at even with the NR piece, you know, you've got two, you've got four, all right? You've got all, or uh, two, five, 66, that's all covered, but you're not gonna get band 14 and you're also not gonna get millimeter wave on the AT&T network. So really, really strange to see AT&T not really playing nicely with this OnePlus device. And if you look at the Wi-Fi connectivity there, you'll see 2x2 MIMO supporting both major connections, 2.4G gigahertz and 5 gigahertz. Uh, there, there's some other technical stuff, uh, Bluetooth 5.1, NFC enabled, some positioning for the, the GPS there. There's some sensor stuff, all that's pretty typical for a flagship in this day and age. 
uh, ports it is USB-C dual nano sim for sim cards if you get the dual sim model I think they also have support for an eSIM so that's pretty cool uh, let's see here gestures okay got the alert slider that's pretty nice kind of like how the iPhones have the slider uh, audio dual stereo speakers noise canceling support Dolby Atmos that's that's pretty good there's some audio stuff there uh, here's what you're getting in the box you're getting the phone you're getting the 30 watt power adapter you're getting the type-c cable it's it's that red really uh, bright color that they offer you all right so you're getting that you're getting some stickers the welcome guide the startup guide a screen protector well that's pretty cool and I've heard even people getting cases that come with this phone so that's pretty sweet I don't know if they'll be doing this one and here's some notes that they talk about the phone all right so it tells you all about it maybe you want to read through that and uh, that's pretty much it and here's some different options where you can how you can pay you could pay with PayPal you could do PayPal credit which gives you free financing so many different ways to buy this phone uh, but again some interesting things coming from the carriers in my first initial uh, opinion I would say that this phone is gonna be killer for the uh, Verizon network it's pretty future-proof because it has their uh, millimeter wave and it's also going to connect to all of the low band and the mid band 5g they do with dss uh, and whatever refarming they end up doing for 5g it's also going to cook on the t-mobile network because it's got all the n71 n41 and uh, all the connections that you need on t-mobile the at&t one's kind of weird why would you omit band 14 but it does include 29 and 30 and all the other ones uh and it does include a lot of the same situation with verizon with the low and the mid band 5g connectivity especially with dss kind of down the pipeline so um interesting uh 7.99 from verizon we still don't know about the t-mobile pricing i would guess it's probably that same price so a hundred dollars more than if you buy it from one plus it would be nice to see t-mobile sell it for 6.99 so they can match one plus Maybe do a nice trade-in deal, a buy one, get one, something like that to keep the sales, uh, you know, consumer friendly and things of that nature. Uh, anyways, these are great devices. They're very, they're both very good, uh, but they are important things to note. So if you found this video informative, please do like this video. It helps the channel out a lot. If you'd also share it to your favorite social media platforms, thank you so much in advance for that. Also, if you're new, maybe this is your first time here, please consider subscribing, hitting that bell notification icon so you never miss an upload from the SMT. And uh, I think we're going to go live uh, to cover these things and have this discussion. So uh, once this post, you know, watching this is sufficient, but if you want to discuss the topic, well, we're going to do a live stream tonight. So tune in for that, you know, and... Um, and get in on the discussion so thank you guys again for watching uh here's some other videos for you to check out if you don't feel like leaving the channel right away and um we'll catch you guys on the next video i am the smt and we'll see you then peace